Heavenly Father, Lord of all, we come to you at this time of anticipation and celebration with much on our minds and hearts. Help us to be inspired again by the Christmas story. Through Mary, teach us to be willing servants of your call on our lives, to step out in faith and trust in ways that we have not contemplated before. Through Joseph, show us how to become risk takers, ready to follow your will. Through the angels, encourage us to proclaim that you are God, so that all may hear the message. Through the shepherds, teach us humility and a quiet sense of confidence in the reality of your love for us and the truth behind the babe in the manger. Through the star, remind us to burn brightly and signpost the way so that others may find faith. Through the wise men, teach us to be searchers, always looking for the real truth, always willing to explore new pathways and track down fresh ideas. Through the infant Jesus, help us to find again that trust and dependency a newborn has, that vulnerability, that acceptance of love and care freely available to us. Lord, this scene now in our minds draws us to a place of mystery and wonder, for this is more than just a baby. He is born human and divine. Help us to look again at what we think we know and take an opportunity to see anew the wonders of Christ's birth. Amen.
reading from the book of Isaiah, chapter 9, and reading verses 6 to 7. For to us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that time on and forever. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen.
John chapter 1 verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him nothing was made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. And the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not comprehend it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. This man came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, that all through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man who comes into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, and the world did not know him. He came to his own, and his own did not receive him. But as many as received him, to them he gave the right to become children of God, even to those who believe in his name, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, and we beheld his glory, the glory as of the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Thanks be to God for his word. Amen. Behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. I don't mean the COVID vaccine, though that's good news. I don't mean that families can be together for Christmas. That's good news for some, though not for everyone. We keep hearing that Christmas won't be the same. And it certainly won't. But has there ever been a perfect Christmas? When everything went entirely according to plan? When everyone was happy? 
if you think about it, every Christmas there are those who are mourning the loss of loved ones, the empty place at the table. Every Christmas there's illness, poverty, hunger, homelessness, split families, loved ones far from home. The list could go on. The good news of Christmas is that Jesus was born into a world like this with all its problems to be Emmanuel, God with us. So even though Christmas may be disappointing, the good news is the same. We are not on our own. Whatever our circumstances, God is with us. We may not hear a host of angels, but perhaps we can be angels, bringers of good news to our friends and neighbours. We could do something as simple as sending an extra Christmas card, making a phone call, writing a letter, sending a food parcel, donating to a caring charity. All these could bring good news to someone. You're not alone. Somebody cares. You are loved. Whatever your circumstances, I wish you a happy Christmas. Hear the message of the angels. Be an angel if you can. The light of Christ has come into the world. Let it shine. Amen.
let us pray. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. God, today we choose to hark, to listen to your voice, to be still and know that you are God with us. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. God, we hear your promise of peace on earth, but we know that the nations have not yet embraced your peace. We pray for all the places in the world where there is war, anger and broken lives. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. God, we hear about the incarnate deity, that you were pleased to dwell with us in flesh and blood. May we know you as Emmanuel, God with us, and may we share your presence with those around us. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. God, we hear that Jesus was born, that we no more may die. Be with those who are grieving at this time. Help us to embrace your promise of second birth and resurrection and live it out even here on earth. Hark, the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Amen. blessing. By the tender mercy of our God, love is broken upon us. Light is given where once there was darkness, and hope where there was only death. Let us go into this season knowing that God will guide our feet into the way of peace. Amen. <laughs>